Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'll be doing a tutorial for a design app. It's called Fonto. It's an app that lets you easily put text in pictures and comes with a ton of stylish fonts and color options too. It's really great for making posters or banners. Even though it has a bunch of great features, it's actually free. So if you're a beginner or designer looking to get started, please watch this tutorial until the end. Let's go ahead and open the app. We start off with a blank screen, but there is this camera button at the bottom here. Press this and choose the photo album option. This will bring up all of your pictures, so go ahead and choose one. This also brings up the filters, so if you want to add one, you can do that here. If you don't want to use one, you can just press the finish button. You can also adjust how much filter you want by double tapping too, so go ahead and do that here as well. Once the picture has been loaded, we are going to start putting text in. To do this, we just press anywhere on the screen and press the add text button. This brings up the keyboard, and we can write whatever we want. When you're finished, just press the finish button. By pressing with one finger, you can move the text around. Below the text, there is a bunch of dark tabs. These let you change the size of the text, the font, and the style, and even add backgrounds. There's a lot of options you can find here. If you press font, it will give you a bunch of different fonts. It's actually amazing that a free app has this many options. It's even got some cute fonts, so definitely take a look at this. This time we'll be using the font called Oleo Script Bold. Make sure to put your text right in the middle. Next up is the Style tab. This is pretty interesting too. First, you can change the text color from here. You can do this by playing around with the sliders, which measure the amount of red, green, and blue. And here you can add an outline to your text. By adjusting the thickness slider at the bottom here, can you see? The outline starts to pop in like this. It really helps make your poster look good, so we are going to add in here. Finally, we also have these two tabs at the top, and one is also called Style. I find the amount of tabs annoying sometimes. Here you can put what's called a job shadow. You can probably see the shadow popping in. It really makes it look more three-dimensional. You can also adjust the depth and thickness of the shadow as well. And then there is a spacing tab where you can adjust the spacing between the letters and between the lines. I've been doing all of this with just sliders, which is super easy and convenient. You can't just click everywhere with an apple pencil like you can with a mouse, so I think having all these sliders such as things with is one of the best things about Fonto. You can also change the text size with sliders too. Now I'm going to add a little subtitle or caption. If you want to change the alignment, left, right, or center, you can do it after you input the text using these tabs at the bottom. For the Japanese font, we are going to go with CNA caption. It's a really cute little font. But there are a bunch of other good fonts too, so please take a look. Right now it seems like our post is looking a bit crowded, so in the spacing tab here, we are going to widen the space between the letters. This makes it a bit easier to read. Now for this title part here, we are going to use a cool font feature called Curve. In this small tab box, if you swipe left, there is a button labeled Curve. Press it, and if you play with this slider here, the letters actually bend and curve like this. Isn't this really cute? It's great for when you want to put your text around an object, and just bending the text a little gives it a cool flair. So please give Curve a try. Of 
finally, I want to add in these kind of stamp SQ letters here. For example, let's type in health and then play with the size and the color. We go to the style tab, press the tab on the right side label background and press white. This lets you add color behind the text we just put in. Below that we have sliders label width, height, and rounding, and you can make a super cute stamp by adjusting these a little. Width is this left to right gap, and then height is the top to bottom gap. Now that it's complete, we should probably move it around. You just have to go to the inclination tab, adjust the slider and makes it lean for you. Doing these sort of things with slider is just really good. Sometimes you have those bounding box things that you touch and spin with your Apple Pencil, but it's sort of pain and you often mess up, and that's why these sliders are so nice to have. I like them so much, and I kinda wish I could use them for all the apps, but this is how easy it is to use font. Right now I'm copying some here, just copying the same thing over and over with the copy button. If you change what's in the boxes afterwards, it really keeps everything looking consistent. Again, Fonto is so simple. It's kind of hard to believe that it's a free app, but now I've said this a lot already. There's also a Fonto app for iPhone, so you can use that one too. All the settings can be adjusted with sliders, so it's really easy. So even for people who want to do things quickly on their iPhones, go ahead and download Fonto there too. Now we are finished, so let's save it. To do this, we press the share button at the bottom, right of the screen. This will show you option save picture, so press it and it will save your work as a JPEG in your photo app. So this is before and after. Isn't it amazing? Just by adding lots of text and stamps, we can really make it pop. I think this will make a really nice banner. And so this is an easy way to make some great looking graphic designs. There's actually a few other apps like this one, but I like Fonda the best because it's got a ton of cute stylish fonts and it's totally free. It doesn't try to get you to spend money up and nothing is behind a paywall. Also the fact that you can change everything including the size, the position, using sliders is great for the iPad interface, so please give it a try. Alright, that's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!